If you are a new laptop or desktop user and you do not know how to update your laptop or your desktop, this tutorial is for you. It is a very simple tutorial. Please make sure you watch the whole video and you will be able to do it. So here in the start icon, just click on the left click and you will find an option called settings. Now, once you open the settings at the left hand side, you will have many options. And here we need to go to this last option, which called Windows Update. Now, the moment you click on that, you will find the last check date, like when it was updated, which all updates have been installed or getting installed. Or you can simply click on check for updates. By any chance, if you're unable to find this window, then you can click on this search icon. And here also you can type Windows and you will find Windows Update Settings. So in this manner, you can check for the last updates and I can see last check today was 249. So it is up to date and I do not have any more updates from Microsoft. Now, let's say if you want to see which all updates you have installed and which is remaining, so you can also go to the update history and the moment you click on that, you can see which all updates you have installed. So I can see all the important cumulative or security updates have been installed in my computer. So it is a very important and very uh, must do thing if you're using your Windows 11 computer or your work or your anything which is very um, important for you, then I would always recommend to update your Windows. Because if you update your Windows regularly, it will be secure, it will be faster, uh, the high, the task usage, the CPU usage will be lesser. If you, if I just do a right click, and if I go to this task manager, and if I go to this performance tab, you can see currently I'm doing the screen recording and also talking to you guys. And you can see the memory usage is just 47% and the CPU usage is hardly 30%. Even though it's not a very powerful laptop, but still it is working like a charm. You can also see the graphics is, you, get, is getting utilized by only 7%. So this is a smooth computer. I mean, um, it's a mediocre PC, not very costly, not very cheap, but you can see how smooth it's running. If you talk about the CPU, memory, disk, and the GPU. So Windows 11 is also good if you update your computer time to time and if you make sure that all the updates have been installed in your PC. So you can also do that and you can also go to the startup menu and see which all applications um, are enabled. Actually, you can see I have only enabled five things rest everything is disabled because i do not need them at the startup so this is why the performance of my laptop is very good even though it's not a high-end pc so the reason why i have chosen this laptop to create this tutorial is because i wanted to show that even a 8 gb laptop and a i3 processor can do wonders if you use your computer wisely and if you update your computer regularly. So you can also do that. You can let me know which laptop you're using, how much RAM, how much uh, disk you have, what kind of disk you're using. Are you using SSD or HDD? So what is the difference when you have switched to SSD? Please tell me your experience and tell us about your thing. I hope you have enjoyed this very short tutorial. Please hit the like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.